Hey there, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, it will be a really short one, but I figured, why don't I show you where all this happens? It has actually been requested before, so today I will do, I believe, what is the last pending request that I've gotten this year, which is, what does my room look like? So Sims Dimensions don't exactly work out the way real life does. I think we've gotten that very clear by this point, but this is basically my room. It's where I sleep sleep, where I work, where I do my hobbies, like recording this video right now. Now, as I mentioned, it is going to be quite a short video, but I guess I can talk a bit about what is actually in my room that I couldn't do on The Sims. So I've spoken before about having issues with recording here and there. A big part of it is because all this happens on a laptop and laptops just don't have the same capacity as a PC. I was actually thinking back on it too since just the other day I was trying to do updates on my laptop and it can't actually update to Windows 11. Which I don't think my laptop is in that bad of a condition or it's that old. But it has been over four years and for some reason lifespan for laptops just isn't the same as it is for a full-on computer so I guess it is what it is. Right beside it is another monitor which my desk isn't big enough to actually fit it so I put it on top of my I believe it's a Calyx from Ikea. It's one of those that has the four holes and two of them I made into drawers. That's also where I put my consoles and stuff but that monitor is a little higher up. It is a bit bigger. That's actually where I do the editing since it's a lot more comfortable if you ask me. But it's actually what I use for my spreadsheets at work. They have graciously allowed me to work from home. Not every day, but I'd say most days depending on the week. They gave me a laptop, which I tried putting one on a shelf since that's where I kind of have it. My desk has two levels, I guess you could say. The Sims doesn't really have one of those base games, so I put a shelf to kind of mimic that. But it wouldn't let me put a laptop, so I just put another monitor. But I just basically switch between laptops. Sometimes I have both of them open, so I have three screens going. But it all depends on the day and how busy I am at work. If I'm too busy, I put away my personal laptop and I connect the other screen to my work laptop and work that way. So it's not the most convenient, I'd say, but it's definitely comfortable, a lot more than some people would think. Speaking of my desk though, I put a whole bunch of nail polish around it in the build because that is the way it actually is. If you've ever seen my Instagram, I have a bit of a nail polish obsession, let's say. And right now I have the cutest Christmas nail polish on, but that is besides the point. On top of what would be the Calyx, I put some books, though realistically I have more games than books. I do have some notebooks and stuff up there as well. But my bookshelf is what's actually full of books, and that's why they've started carrying over to the Calyx. Alex. Since I'm talking a bit about my obsessions and what I have in my room, I am a serial book buyer, but I never carve out time to actually read them. So I have everything from standalone books to series to manga that I've yet to read that are right there. But at least the manga I've seen the anime, so maybe it balances itself out. Now throughout my room, I have a calendar right next to the door. That one was actually where it was supposed to be. Underneath it, I have an agenda. So those scatter books were able to work pretty much everywhere in my room, whether it's somewhere I would sit, somewhere I would come in, or somewhere I lay down. I have hand cream everywhere, so I kind of tried to represent that as well. But a lot of the pictures that I put around, some of them were some paintings that I actually did myself in something called paint night. You basically go and they tell you, hey, we're going to paint this today. Try your best. I'm actually rather proud of them, so I have them up on my wall. The rest of it is pretty much between family pictures, posters, whatever it is that I like that I have around. Now the scaling does break apart a little bit where it comes between the bed and the closet. It's not nearly two tiles how it was in the build, but it's not quite one tile either. It's more like one and a half. That area I don't have much around. I just have an ottoman, which is mainly there because my bed is too tall for my dog. So it's for my dog to be able to jump up and down. But basically the ottoman, I move it and that whole space between my bed and the closet stays open. And that is where I work out. I think the only other thing besides that 
got was the windows. My windows actually have ledges. I want to have more plants, but I'm afraid I'll kill them, so I only have some chicken hen succulents right next to my desk. But that is about it. That is my bedroom. I think the video actually ended up being a little longer than I intended it to be. But I figured since we're doing my bedroom, I did kind of want to recognize some of the weird things that you might see here and there. And yes, I do have my TV on top of my dresser. It's the only place it fit. It was actually on the Calyx, but I had to rearrange my whole bedroom. That one wall that is blue, everything was measured literally to the millimeter. I cannot fit anything else, cannot move anything there. It is the exact dimensions I was able to fit in. But anyways, we are at the end of this video already, and I just wanted to wish you a merry whatever you celebrate. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great weekend!